Hey there, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are gonna take a look at how Matplotlib works with the images. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. So, guys, first of all, let's import uh, import Matplotlib. And from this, instead of plotting, uh, instead of getting pl, uh, instead of getting pi plot. What I'm going to get is image and I'm going to import uh, let's just import this so now I, now I have this image and let's read some image okay so let's make img equal to image image dot image dot I am read and here I need to give the address of the image so let's just take that address Okay, and we need to give it here now let's give the name of the image that is test.jpg and we also need double slash here so image is not defined it is saying image is not defined as image so now we have our image and what we can do is we can just show this image import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt and what we can do here is plt dot i am show and in this i can just provide the image and as you can see here we have our image like here now you can also save this image using some functions so let's see that function first what you can do is plt dot and I am save you can use I am save function in this you need to give the address again so let's save this file here again and I need I am giving the name as test one okay now we also need to give the image so our image is IMG and you can also change our map so let's say c map equal to 3 and then this our image must be saved now and this is our test one image that we have saved and this is our normal image okay and if you will not include it it is not going to do anything much so you will see this so one last thing is that we can also flip our image let's take origin and if you will give lower here then you will see our image will be flipped so let's see and as you can see here we our image is flipped and this was the original image so guys this was the basic processing that you can do in matplotlib on images so this was it for this video and i hope that you understood the concepts here so i'll see you next time thanks for watching